And I'm going to have to adjust the sound a tiny bit, probably, real quick. Yeah. Um, just get that set up, and then... I'm looking at this, um... It's a black screen. That's all it's going to be. Why doesn't it let me adjust it? Let me... Wait a minute. I'll put Skype I don't up, know if it's I'll... worth it to buy Bioshock Infinite. I mean, it looks really cool when I see some gameplay of it. Mm -hmm. And then the game is a black screen until you press A. It was like that on the uh, Nintendo 64, I think, when we were playing it there, but this is on an emulator. Um, that's just how it is. It's a very strange uh, game in the way it works. LucasArts. Alright, so we'll watch the uh, the intro here. LucasArts. Outrider Echo Base, please respond. Sir, we've made contact with the Rebels. Okay, so here you will see, this is um, our hero. Can you see him yet? Our hero, Dash Rendar. Look at that guy. Second. I'll see it. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Look at that. He's just a smug. Son he of is. Thing. He really is. He is. So anyway, um, clearance granted. We are lowering the energy field. Yeah. He actually. What we've found. I'll show you later because you know you get to see him. Um, oh, and here's Han Solo. You'll notice that um, everyone that is not Dash Rendar has a uh, face that is a, as smooth as a baby's butt, as uh, a friend of mine put it. See, look, look at uh, look at Han Solo. Like, his face is just... I guess maybe it was like with Dash Rendar, they designed... They got to design how he looked, whereas for this, it's like, where they're like, oh, we'll just look at a picture of, uh, of his face and draw it. Yeah. So you can't really do as much with it, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, as you're seeing here, as you're seeing here, yeah, a little bit, as you're seeing here, um, what I thought was, uh, Dash Render's outfit looks like if Judge Dredd wasn't wearing a helmet and didn't have his badge. Yeah. That like, that's, that is what I think it looks like. So anyway, here's Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Shadows, rather. Um, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire was a thing that was, I think, supposed to take place... It was supposed to take place in between two of the of the um, older movies. I forget which ones it was, but anyway, um, I think the second and third, maybe, whichever one. And it was sort of like a midquel where it was just showing some stuff happening in the middle of it, and there it was going to be a multimedia thing where they had like, I think like a there was a comic or a book, there was a PC game that was like an FMV game. Um, or at least it had full motion video in it. It was I might have not have been oh, a FMV game. God. Um, what else? And, uh, so whatever it is. No, I don't care. Alright. So we're just gonna go in. Um, this is Escape from Echo Base. This so basically it was just supposed to be, like, showing what was going on with the people who weren't so important. Yeah, except this game's kind of like, it really likes to just go like, Oh, hey, look, look, here's this guy from the movie. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's kind of the whole game. Like, and you'll see Dash Rendar, um, yeah, he... Does he control, like, Superman 64? Uh, no, it does control better than that. It's not a great game. It actually, when I when I was first playing this, I made the observation, um, let me just go into first person here. In first person, it plays a hell of a lot like, uh, Metroid Prime. It's really, it, like, this could be the, the, like, the alpha of Metroid Prime. Now, you'll notice in this game that you don't have to aim at all as I'm going yes. through. It's one of those games. At least, maybe, maybe in the, nope, nope, we still don't. Um, nope, you, nope. you can press a button to aim, but you really don't need to most of the time. You just yeah. kind of run around and press kinda, B. Kind of like Doom. Yeah, except in this, it's like, you know... Yeah, and actually, it's very similar to Doom in that you can't really dodge things other than hiding from them behind a wall or something. Yeah. And you kind of just have to kill things before you're killed. And it's not a... Again, I, as I said, it's not a horrible game. It's actually okay, but it's really, really buggy. I can imagine. Like, also, just... it, well, what the fuck? Oh, oh, okay, the door just kind of appeared. Yeah, I'm seeing the very, like... They're having issues oh. like how Superman 64 did with, um like, render distance and mm -hmm. things closing when they should not. Well, also, because this was really... This was, like, one of the first games on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, so, like, I'm seeing, like, the pre... like, requisite of all those things mm -hmm. that used to happen. 
It's very strange. Anyway, you kind of just run through and just press B. That's, that's oh, most yeah. of this game. And this is the Yeti room. Um, now, here's an observation you can make about a very large part portion of the game and the bosses. And if the bosses didn't have, like, a bar of health, you could see. Um, we're going to open the cage here and see these Yetis will come out and attack us. And they kind of just walk after you and try to hit you. And we got to get the fuck out of here. Um, as you're seeing here, I am shooting at the Yeti. Um, I yeah. am I am doing damage to it. You can't tell. It gives no feedback whatsoever. But I am indeed doing damage to the Yeti. There. Huh. See? It is dead. Um, and there, there are a lot of things in this game like that. And there is a Yeti <laughs> behind these boxes for some reason. Look at that guy. He's stuck. Are the Yeti's coming looks, after? He, yep. His face looks like an owl. More Yetis. Look at his face. Doesn't it look like an owl? Yeah, a little bit. When you get closer, they've got like little teeth and stuff, and again, you just kind of keep backpedaling and pressing B really, really fast. Also, you'll notice, I don't know if you haven't noticed this yet, um, the laser gun has a limit, but it doesn't matter at all because it recharges so fast that you can just keep firing it as fast as you want. It does not yeah. matter. And the weapons you find in the game are better than the laser, but not by enough that it really matters to the point where since you have unlimited of the laser, you can pretty much go through the whole game just, you know, mashing the laser a lot. It's, it's yeah. kind of just all you have it's to do. Of, it's one of those. Uh-huh. The whole, like, you know, well, if you're going to give me an okay weapon that has unlimited ammo, then why the fuck wouldn't I use it over everything else? <laughs> More Yeti rooms. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they have Yeti rooms. They just happen to have Yeti rooms. And we're back. I went in the loop. Yeah, I don't look, remember uh, that. Look at that render distance. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? And this is... I, I'm guessing this is one of the reasons why a lot of, like, the games, they either had very little textures on anything that was far away, mm -hmm. or they would make these really, really low ceilings. <laughs> Just like this is. Uh, now, and are, are you looking at me now with this um, spinning? I am, and it kind of looks like you have snakeskin pants or something. Yeah, it's we actually, if you look from behind, <laughs> what we observed is it looks like a beaver tail when he's walking. <laughs> um, also, this is the anim... This is the, um, what is it? The Fuck, oh god, I'm being shot at. I have to switch my camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the okay. uh, the cinematic camera. It is completely worthless, and you will never want to use it. It's pretty much <laughs> something... I, I, Yeah, I just killed that guy. All right. Um, also, you'll notice um, his animation where he looks like he's surfing when he fires his gun. That's just kind of how it looks. Apparently, oh, yeah. apparently when this game uh, was being made, they showed this... Um, this character, um, Dash Rendar to Shigeru Miyamoto, and he told him the problem with it was that he didn't really move much, so their, um, their solution to that was to make him wave his, uh, left arm around when he fires his gun. And that's... What it reminds me of is, um, like the quick draw duels you see in westerns, and they have their arm kind of, like, low to the, you know, a little uh -huh. bit like that. Yeah, but he's, and like, over-exaggerated, kind of just flailing it. Well, do it again. I want to see it again. Okay. Wait a minute. I gotta kill these guys. Okay. Kill those guys. Oh yes, and they the you droids. See where they actually are. The droids that float around here are the same model, I'm pretty sure, as the ones in um, Rogue Squadron that float around. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will get the animation camera going, and uh, oh, that was it. Wait, oh, there we go. All right. Yeah. So this is our hero, Dash Rendar. <laughs> Sometimes he'll oh, hold his gun. I didn't see that before. So he, so if you just keep shooting, he'll constantly put his arm in different places. Yep. Uh, Which is sort of neat. He kind of seems like one of those toys where like it has a little ball kind of shoulder thing, and then you can move it in different places, but you know it never really mm -hmm. looks right. Yeah, and then you have this camera. Why? Why, would you why ever the? Use that? Yes. Why would you ever <laughs> want this? That's what I asked. I did not get an answer. I still don't know. His so anyway, we're, we're kind of things still look very strange to me. Yeah, everything like, about him kind of looks weird again, especially the beaver tail. Now here, and then we have these things: challenge points. Getting challenge points on levels. If you collect everyone in the level, I'm pretty sure it gives you an extra life to start out with in every other level. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Wow, you almost died. Good job. 
but uh, I don't always get them, mostly because you uh, don't really need that many lives. It's not a very hard game. Well, no, you just press B and then things that... I mean, sometimes you do on some areas that are kind of a pain, but I mean, as soon as you know how the bosses work, you really... Like, the bosses are basically the hardest part. And as soon as you know how they work, or how to horribly exploit them, as you're going to see in a minute or two... You're gonna see the magic. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it, droid. Stop it. Ow. Fuck. I'm glad this is a thing that you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> can you even hit him from all the way over there? Yes, yes I can. It doesn't look like it until he actually finally, like, disappears. Mm-hmm. It just kind of looks like you're hitting a wall, and that's it. Yep, that is, uh, that is this game. <laughs> See, we're gonna keep going here. We might get in, be getting to the boss soon. So they just constantly, to make it, like, run a little bit better, and they put these really low ceilings so that they wouldn't have to render so much? Mm-hmm. All right, now stage complete. There we go. This might be the boss. Really hope it doesn't get all flickery on me. That would be annoying. It looks like you keep speeding up really fast. Yeah, I, I see that too a little bit. Um, like you'll I be going, and it'll go kind of okay, and then suddenly you'll be like, Holy shit, That might be it? because my computer is just getting too many frames per second, and it is actually speeding everything up, but I'm not really sure. I don't know if that happens in this <laughs> your, game. Your computer is too advanced for this game. Well, no, that'll ha You ever see um, when people in uh, use... It was early when they were trying to make a mod for Dark Souls to make it uh, go at 60 frames per second. All the animations went like double the speed, and it was impossible to play and kind of hilarious to watch. Yeah, I remember. That. Imagine maybe it's something like that. I mean, I, I'm not that knowledgeable on it, so I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> You'll notice also, um, this game will get very cheap on you. They'll just put shit like. They'll put enemies in places, like, you'll be- you'll get up an elevator, and there will be stormtroopers just standing in front of the elevator, ready to shoot you. <laughs> and that'll happen a lot. That, like, very, very often that will happen. I guess they figured, you know, they gave you a gun with unlimited ammo anyway, you might as well use it. I guess. And you just- that's kind of what you do in this game, is you just never stop firing. That is the best, uh, strategy. We go up here, this guy's dead. Those and it'll tell us flashes when you get hit by a laser. Mm -hmm. oh, they're killing me. Right now. <laughs> you need to activate the generators to open this door, and then your uh, your robot. You know, you have a you have a droid that talks to you. That's that. That's what that is. It looks kind of like a deformed mushroom head. Yeah, a little bit. So basically, we go in here. We press this button. We go up the and elevator. Then you press another button. Yeah, kinda. See, look right here. These two guys. We got them. <coughs> well, that wasn't very hard. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> Sometimes, it, like with the stormtroopers, I think they last a little longer than those guys do. But yeah. here, um, there just, for some reason, needs to be six buttons for this. <laughs> just, Even yeah, though, it's, it's, and it's not like, you know, a nuclear launch thing where it's like, oh, everyone has to be pressing it at the same time, or they have to have a key or whatever. You can just go around and press all of them by yourself, it doesn't matter. So, I don't know what the purpose of having six buttons is. But there they are. Really sure that when you got them all green, that that's what you really wanted to do. I guess so. I actually forgot to check. Is my mic even working in the stream? Um, I don't know. I have my I have the stream muted all the time. So Here, unmute it and see. Say something. Uh, hi. Yeah, you're in there. It's working? Good. Yeah, it's working. Okay, I wanted to make sure I, I did the- oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. One also, life I lost, do, not I the- again- I really liked that death animation. Yeah, it is- it is pretty funny. Um, not that it really matters, because uh, you will see in a minute this boss- also, um... It's another thing, um, when you die, there's, like, no consequence at all. Actually, the enemies don't even respawn. You just lose uh -huh. a life, so... So what happens if you... Where are your lives? Um, they appear when you die and stuff. They're not... Oh, I have one life. So or, how many do you have right now? I technically have two, because zero counts as a life. See, oh, in okay. the... in the It's weird. In the menus, it'll tell me I have four lives. But in this, it'll say three, and then zero is a life. Alright, so here's the boss. It is in uh, ATST. 
in a hangar. I can't really remember what uh, AT. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the ATST. I'm not huge on Star Wars. I kind of like Star Wars. But um, first of all, I will say, standing behind this boss is kind of just how you kill it. But we're, you're gonna watch here if I can do it. If this still works, come here. There we go. No, wait, wait, come back. Yeah, if you get right under it, it, it just kind of stops moving. It just gives up. <laughs> we were actually able to um, get it to entirely stop moving. Ow, ow, ow. But yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll shoot it now. Um, as soon as I can just stop. There we go. Gotta... Oh yeah, you're right, ATST. Is an ACST. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just saw the, the little thing flash. But yeah, this boss, uh, here's the strategy. As you're seeing me do right now, you you really just need to walk behind it. That's all. I can I can imagine that's what they, you know, they were more maneuverable in the movies. Yeah. And they could also spin <laughs> their heads around. Yeah, so, you know. And a weird thing later on, you'll see, um, they must have known that, like, they must have designed it for that, because later on you'll fight one again, and when you go under it, a gun will pop out and shoot you. It's, it's like they knew. They so they, like, like I'm, I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose. Like, they're like, you know what, just leave it in there, we'll fix it later, and put a gun underneath the one later, and then it'll fuck them up. I would also like to add, before we get into the story parts of this, um, you will not understand the story at all. It is not because you're not paying attention or anything. It is because you kind of need to read everything having to do with Shadows of the Empire um, to understand it at all, apparently. Uh, but uh, we'll see after this, after I kill this boss, you know, in quotes. <laughs> this boss, stop. Okay, can... Wait. Yeah, I'll just shoot his legs. Are you asking the boss to wait? Yeah, I'm, t I'm just telling him to stop so I can shoot him. <laughs> he looks like a really bow-legged dog. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of what they've looked like forever. It's just what ATSTs look like. I don't remember them looking so strange. Like, I didn't they look a little more... Uh, like... Um... A little more like, you know, elephants mixed with rhinos, but they only had two legs. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. I don't know, that's, that's the way I remember them in my mind. Okay, so stop. There we go, alright. And there is Dash Rendar under it still, just kind of ducking as it's falling over and exploding. He's like, yeah, this will protect me, and I mean it does, so. Good for you, <laughs> Dash Rendar. Good for you. Truly Things a hero to your people. Downwards. Got some Seekers. Seekers... Uh, seekers are like seeker missiles, but sometimes they seek and other times they don't. They That's just kind of how they are. And I'm just going to jump around and get the power-ups here, because there might be an extra life or something. They usually give you an extra life for the bosses. Or at least for the harder ones, like um, you later on have to fight Boba Fett. Which is actually kind of yeah. a cool boss fight, because then you have a jetpack. Yeah. I actually do enjoy that one. Or did enjoy. You know his his jumping while like weird and slidey, like how most of them, most of the jumps were in any N sixty four game. Mm -hmm. It's much more satisfying than other games I've seen. And here is our ship, the not Millennium Falcon. I see. <laughs> and they're in our ship. They're they're commandeering it like a bunch of assholes. I like how he just has this little head for the cockpit so we can get out of here. Couch, get a table. There we go. We got into the cockpit, we're flying away, and we left. Are we didn't we? really get to watch it fly away, but we did. Um, who opened the door? That's a good question. <laughs> who the fuck was like, yeah, I'll just open this door if I just, just leave? I mean, would you want to fuck with Dash Rendar? Sir, you have to fight- mean? Oh yes, this part. You're, you're gonna like this part, this is a rail shooter part. This game really loves to just kind of change the way the game works on you. So here we're just kind of... Is it like an actual kind of fun real shooter? No, no it it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you basically, the TIE Fighters fly around and you shoot them. That's kind of just it. So really, there's like, there's no penalty for being shit at it? 
Uh, not really. Very little. Also, they'll constantly run into your ship and kill themselves. That's just kind of what they do. I don't know why. Did they do that in the movies? Uh, no. I don't think they did. <laughs> I, oh God, it's been so long since I've seen the movies, I feel bad. <laughs> Like, I enjoyed the movies, I'm not so... Challenge, like wait, fight, that's but... how you get the challenge points in this level? <laughs> you shoot the you red shoot. meteors, or red asteroids, that's silly. The uh, red asteroids? Yeah. Is that, is that yep, that's how, that's how you get challenge points on this level. I was, Last time I did this, I got zero challenge points, and uh, I wasn't even aware you could get them. Well, no, I, I wasn't even aware you could <laughs> get them, because you're on a rail. And you normally yeah. have to pick them up on every level you're in, so... Incoming uh, bomb! Uh, oh, oh god, flashing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we, ha As you can see, we have 40 TIE Fighters left. Oh 40. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. When I think of... Um, are those technically on-rail shooters, like the ones that you would see at the, um, like the movie theaters and stuff, where you would step on the thing and you would go into cover and then you'd step on uh, the thing? Uh, yes. Out? Yes, they are. Uh, I, well, no, I would call, I don't know what I would call, them, like, light gun shooting games? Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, are light gun games. Yeah, light gun games. games. At, uh, arcades and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, those are always open. fun. I have actually know. beaten one of those. Really? Uh, House of the Dead 3, I think I beat, and we have more lives, so nobody gives a shit. And it doesn't reset the TIE Fighters, so... I don't know if you've noticed this yet also, but um, our aiming uh, reticle um, is not accurate at all. No, it's not accurate. It really doesn't help. It's kind of just a vague, like, that's where it kind of is sort of deal. Sweet. Uh, there's a red asteroid, I gotta get it, I gotta get the challenge point. How, how did you not, like, shoot at it? There, I got it. The last time you saw it. I don't know, I didn't notice it. You just didn't notice a bunch of red asteroids that were just flying There's just, there's like one, face. and I have to also shoot these guys at the same time, even though it's not really threatening at all, but still. <laughs> I also sort of half care and half don't. Wait, don't you have missiles? I do, how do I fire them? It's kind of confusing about, oh, there we go, that's the button. I don't remember the missiles being that useful. Occasionally, if there's a cluster of enemies, it can kill all of them, but... I don't remember if they... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got... Oh, we're almost done. Cool. Yeah. So, did, when you beat that House of the Dead 3, did, were you actually at an arcade, or were you just... Yeah, I, w I was at an arcade. It's a place called the Boneyard near us. Challenge points, 5 out of 6. You almost had them all. Well, challenge point bonus, 2 lives. Neat. Hmm. So, Level anyway... Five. Not really, though. Yeah. Part 2, In Search of Boba Fett. A rival bounty hunter has forced Boba Fett into hiding before he could deliver his prize, the frozen Han Solo, to the vile gangster Jabba the Hutt. As Luke Skywalker and rogue mercenary Dash Rendar search for Boba Fett, a sinister new figure emerges from the underworld. This cunning and ruthless head of the power cri powerful crime syndicate, Black Sun, plots in. I couldn't read that. Um, so this guy is, um, you're gonna see in a moment, Imperial City, not far from the Emperor's Palace. A large block of iron, I guess. Is that lore accurate? What? The Imperial City, not from... Wait, no, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Your meeting with the Emperor went as planned, Prince Scissor. I like to call him Prince Scissor, I think. Scizor, something like that. Was I imagine it would be Scizor, but Scissor sounds... Much and then more this is Prince Scissor. In all he his glory. Look anything like Scissors. No, he doesn't at all. I was disappointed as well. Uh, did you see that eyebrow raise? I, I did. I've I've seen it many times now. <laughs> or a more dangerous enemy. You've informed Jabba's bounty hunters that the order to capture Skywalker alive has now been changed. Yes, and no one will know that that <clears throat> the new order to kill Skywalker came from you. Excellent. And now his smile is just uses a shit-eating grin. <laughs> Vader will suffer the Emperor's wrath after he fails to turn Skywalker to the dark side. So, as you'll notice from Scissor's plot here... He kind of, his plot is just like, I'm going to basically just piss off the most powerful people in the galaxy so everyone hates me. That's kind of just where his plan goes. And our ship is invisible there, I don't know why, I guess it's just the emulator. You were correct, and also you will be seeing this picture of Dash Rendar quite often. It shows this in pretty much every single cutscene. 
looks so cross-eyed in this picture mm -hmm. and it makes me laugh. And, um, Boba Fett... I, I'm going to imagine... Why does it keep disappearing? Oh, it's it, because of the way it was... I there. think it's just the emulator, because it wasn't doing that in the cartridge, so... Okay. I'd actually like to get a capture card and play it right from the N64. Um, so yeah, here is the uh, train hopping level. Yes. And that sounds fun, but I'm uh, it's, it's not. it goes on for way too long to be fun. And duck. Amen. Oh, that's you weren't supposed you... to. Oh God, that kills you in one hit on medium. On easy, it just uh, shit. This might be a problem. <laughs> Oh, I boy. imagine. Okay, so you do this a lot. I take it. Yes, yes, you do. You do it very often. Well, what if you? What if it just hits your legs? Uh, I'm not sure. It's also really hard to tell when you're supposed to duck and when you're supposed to jump. Yeah, I can't like really tell at all. I'm just jumping. Ho yeah, when you when it just hits your legs, it does less. I mean, sometimes it's easy to tell. Like with these, it's like, well, yeah, you can't jump over those, so obviously you duck. But I think it gets more confusing later. And then this asshole. How is it shoot. that you're not gonna? Fl you're not just flying backwards on the. Um, that actually, when you go on really sharp turns, that happens, but so little that it doesn't matter. <laughs> and now we gotta jump onto this other one. Because of that picture, I'm now going to imagine him as like, you know, one of those um, Forrest Gump type of characters where he's like, he can do really cool things, but he's still pretty retarded. Yeah. For many, for everything yeah, that's just how Dash Rendar is. See there, when I was jumping, it was moving me a little bit. A little bit. Doesn't matter that. Also, it's very odd in how when it likes to likes to make you strafe. I'm not really sure when it happens. It just kind of does. You seem to be moving very slowly and stopping and then going again. Like not your character, but just the train itself. It, yeah. That just no, that's that is that train? is the. Ch oh God. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped there. <laughs> that was just a fuck up on my part. <laughs> was, and people were like, "Oh, Dash, why are you so stupid?" Dad, just he get back up, Dash. Really walk it off. <laughs> and that's what Dash does. He has a lot of lives. He's like Ed. Yeah. He's, his head just went through it, and he didn't even flinch. Yeah, I forget on this level. It is again still the uh, just press B a lot button kind of game. So, so can you can you just go past the enemies, or will they follow you? Uh, some of them will, some of them won't. Some of them will be on trains themselves when you get to like double tracks, and it's pretty. It gets kind of silly. All right, so we clearly duck under well, this, right? <laughs> yes, good. That looked way too close. <laughs> Dash Rendar is a very is a man for close encounters. Extra life, yes. I was hoping you would fall off, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you really wow, don't. This is going to go on for much longer. <laughs> I mean, it's not not fun, really, but it could definitely be better, and we're fucked. What? There was a space? No, you should have jumped over to the other one. I know Didn't I should have jumped over to the other one, but that one clearly had a space under it. Didn't you see that? No, I no, there was no space. You're under no, under there. the first one, yes. Under the second one, no. I would have been de Oh yeah, you shoot those. Yes, this part. You're like, "Oh, should I jump over it?" Nope, you you just shoot it. And what, that's a full health that thing. That disable anything. Don't that's you know, that's a really good question. There's a lot of those questions you'll have about Dash Rendar. And none of them will be answered. Also, there's a speeder bike level that is the best thing. Oh, God. We are, we are not... I don't know when we get okay. to it. I don't remember. Wait a I th minute. And then okay, there's this wait. asshole. Just look at, look at your feet. Without, like, without you shooting. Oh. Just look at it. Oh, they, yeah. They, like, go out to the sides, and they look really strange. Yeah. No, I can't remember if we're supposed to stay in here or jump back over. I think we jump back over. Yeah. Jump back. Yeah, we gotta jump back over. And that guy's just kind of gonna stay, or just shoot that guy. Um, yeah, and there he's shooting at us again. Oh yeah, and we'll get another one of those assholes, those big robots, right here. There we go. I almost feel extra like life. Food. Extra yeah. life. Yes, I destroyed you, robot. No. <laughs> well, I guess that extra life came in handy, huh? <laughs> I guess so. How? 
Stop. I almost feel Stop like robot. you should be having, like, um... What are, you know, like, all those people with the weird, funky swords Fuck, from what? Indiana Jones jumping hey, on the trains and whatnot? I feel like that's what should be happening right now. Mm -hmm. All so that's the when the curves will fuck Hindu you up. People need to jump on your train and just try to kill you for Kalima. That was actually one of the worst ones. What was again? Say that again. Uh, what, uh, what was that? Temple of Doom. Temple that of was, Doom. That was the, yeah, that was the worst Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, I can't say I liked uh, Temple of Doom that much. I. It did kind of just go like, you know, the first one. Well, huh. Which one? I think I liked, um. What was, um. What was the one called with the Holy Grail? Why am I forgetting the name? <laughs> that one was, um. Uh. The. Wait, what was that one? Okay, there's right in the temple. Oh, yeah, and then you, this, it does auto aim at the, uh, the doors you need to shoot. Oh, well, that's, that's convenient. So you can just, again, keep pressing B, and that guy's shooting us, and we shot him, because he's an asshole. I didn't even mean to shoot that guy over there, but we did, because that's just how Jastrindar rolls. What is the name of that movie? I am trying. can't even remember it now. The Last Crusade. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that's, Crusade. that's what it was. Also because I had Sean Connery in it, and I really like Sean Connery. Okay, so th their, like, byplay in that movie was the best thing to ever happen to movies and ever. <laughs> that is why that was one of the best. <laughs> and there's this asshole in the back of that train. We jump in here. Get Actually, a full was health. was there an Indiana Jones game at any point? Uh, yes. And I'll... they were terrible. They Except were all terrible. Lego Indiana Jones uh, was, well, a Lego game. All of the Lego games are pretty much exactly the fucking same. I don't know if you've ever played one, but they are. I did, and then I stopped because I was like, why am I playing this? Well, Lego Star Wars is good because that... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow, good... Whoa, good job. I, I'm you... glad that happened. I just don't know how that happened. That was weird. You just kind of fell into toxic, like, puke sludge, and then... Well, no, I, did, I didn't press backward. It just threw me backward. It was kind of like... I think you needed to jump forward rather than try to go up the side. I think that's what happened. Maybe. Maybe. Or jump back after it, I guess. Or wait until the curve is over so I don't die like an idiot. Because you do slide around on the tops. Slippity slabity. Uh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but... I did see that. There we go. We got the extra life, even though we wasted one to get it, but now we need it, so whatever. <laughs> we still have two lives, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I love this new age math. Mm -hmm. Zero oh. equals one. And then, uh, wonderful animations for the enemies. That was wonderful, yes. Wasn't it? And normally, it gives you a warning when you get on curves, but not in the... Me, I guess on easy it does, on medium it does not, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. I, th I totally thought that the reason you have, like, unlimited laser is because I was on, like, because I was on easy, because I was playing it on easy the first time, but it is not. You just always have unlimited laser. Is you, there, is it you miss the... What? Normal well, I, what? I had time to get on it, and it's just like, nah, no you don't. Fuck you. <laughs> you missed the hover train. But it, You're I don't a piece of shit. I don't think it took away a life though, so No, it didn't. Huh. Do I just have to well, go do, uh, alternate segment, alternate segment, uh, nope. Okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> well, that took away a life. That did. Now we will wait until the curve is over. You missed the hover train. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting until the curve was all the way over, and... So can I just keep trying? Is that what it does? I guess so, until you either die or you there get we on the hover go. train. I didn't, you need to, like... I didn't miss the hover train this time, Doku. I did it. Good job. Oh yeah, and then there are, this part, you'll just have parts you can fall off and you can't see at all. 
like you will not be able to tell you could have fallen off. Yeah. And you just fall off. Extra you life. Very woo. close there. I was. That was a wonderful explosion. So this, <laughs> is a, this is a part where I do need nothing, to actually and aim. Nothing was left. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens to everything around Dash Rendar and everyone. They just boom. Nothing Actually, left. I don't think a lot of people that Dash Rendar knows dies mostly because he knows people in the actual movies. So, of course they and wouldn't they don't die. Kill movie people. Well, yeah. I also, I, I also am still liking that uh, Lord Scissor's plan is literally to piss off Darth Vader. Like, I, I don't know how you could get any more Death Wish than that. Like, just... Yeah, no matter how stupid they kind of made him seem in the new movies... Um, he's still he's Darth, Darth Vader? Darth Vader was badass. Well, yeah, Darth, you, you don't want to fuck with him. You really don't. And Scissor's just like, yeah, I do. Jump to the next hover train. Woo, we did it. I thought you were going to miss it. And we will get to a part that I. Did I'm... they make that look like a face on purpose? I don't know, but it does. I did notice that the first time I played, and uh. <laughs> now we just kind of wait. Haunt, it'll haunt your dreams. Yeah. I'm watching you dash Rendar. You missed the. What? <laughs> There was nowhere to go! <laughs> Aren't you on the hover train? I'm pretty sure I was on the hover train. Maybe, maybe you can be on that part of the hover train. Uh. No, I just, I don't I, know. I don't, I, I'm just giving you my opinion. I know, I'm, I, I know you, I appreciate it. I don't really know what I was, I'm confused. So do I stay on this part? It says jump to the next hover train, so I'm jumping to the next hover train. Oh, we get next to this one. And we go over, and that guy's dead. Good. Good dead. Okay, sir, I've taken care of the auto brake. And I, this party's like, okay, sir, I took out the brake. And he's like, you what? Why? Because it never tells you what you're doing here. So it's just like, okay, sir, I took out the brakes for you. Like, why? Why would you do that? And as you'll see here, this is why. And then he died at the end. <laughs> and then he died at the end, yeah. <laughs> Except he didn't. I've been monitoring you, Captain Rendar. I always thought this thing looked like um, the ninja robots from that one episode of um, Samurai Jack. Except yeah. without the, the hat. And no one will stop me. No one. <laughs> so this boss is um, actually the opposite of the last boss. So you have Inst to be at his front. You have to be at his front and backpedal and shoot at him. Because he'll shoot you and he kind of always knows. Also, sometimes it will you'll die here and it'll spawn you right on him. Like, you, it will just spawn you next to him and he'll start, start shooting you immediately. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Your colors look a little strange here. Is it just because, like, they're supposed to be different lighting? Uh, something like that? Challenge point invincibility, awesome. Are you paying are you playing Quake? I am going point blank to him and he's just like, what the fuck's going on? I, I, I don't understand. And we're running out of invincibility, so I'm just gonna run because I don't remember how long the flashing of invincibility lasts. But I know there's an extra life here, and I'm trying to be safe. It's somewhere around here. Or at least, well, I'll get this challenge point, because that's important. We need to challenge ourselves with challenge points. So challenging. And the points. robot was floating. I don't know if you saw his feet up in the left corner, but he was floating. I did see it. And this part you do want to be in first person for, and you just kind of have to backpedal and backpedal and backpedal, and he's jumping over the wall... <laughs> this part gets kind of creepy. This part, this part does get actually kind of scary. Because he's just always stalking you, always knows where you are. <laughs> never, never leaves. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow. It makes him a lot harder on medium, because now he'll actually shoot me from much farther away. You kind of just have to jump and hope for the best. <laughs> you get him trapped right in here, and then you just start shooting him. 
Ow. Damn. He does a lot of damage. And the best thing you can do is just get him trapped right here and keep running around and just backpedaling and shooting him. Do we have any Enemy. other weapons? I can't remember. No, that is not the camera I want game. No. Why would there be a button that specifically puts you into the fucking uh, cinematic camera? Because <laughs> there is. That is silly. Don't do that. Video game designers, don't do that. He also has a very funny walk cycle. I don't know if you saw that there, he shot me through the wall. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I was, uh, I was like, He's a cheating bastard. He actually is, because he... The wall? What? Can you shoot him through the wall? No. No, I can't. You can't, you can't return the favor? No. That's unfair. I can't exploit his awful AI, though. What is... I oh, can't remember what the button to switch the weapon is. No, not don't go into cinematic. Can't, there we go, seekers and lasers. Okay. See, as I said before, seekers kind of sometimes seek and sometimes don't. Yeah, I see what you mean. Of course, that seems to be the same way for all of this game. It's like they sometimes do things. It sometimes, and then they sometimes works do and not. sometimes it doesn't. There we go. We killed him, and he's dead. And we get a few of Dash Rendar going. Wow, that was cool. Two was bonus this just lives. like, was this their character? It wasn't. It, they didn't really think of anyone. They were just like, we need somebody like um, every person that uh, Harrison Ford has ever played, but we can't have him have the same name. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, okay, we'll call him Dash Rendar. That's cool and edgy, right? And I'll watch the ship like, get yeah. out there and find Boba Fett. All right, this level's fun because this level is where you get the jetpack. This is the thing we found, um, I can't remember who looked it up, it was either Mike or Nate, whatever it was. Um, we'll go over to the cockpit here, and you can talk to your droid, whatever his name is. The ship is safe with me, sir. You talk to him three times. We'll never get paid if you stay here all day. <laughs> go away, sir. <laughs> and he'll just keep saying, go away, sir. <laughs> go away, sir. That other droid that does wonderful. the same thing. What is this? Oh, it's just the seat. In the Why ship. does he um, control all of the doors? It, he can talk out of any one of them. He can talk to you like anywhere because I guess he's in your earpiece or something. What? And this part, I don't know why I have trouble with this thing. I guess the ledge is very misleading. It's also very a very slidey game. Oh my god! Yes. Wow, your legs were in the rock. Uh huh. Yeah, this, the laws of physics will correct themselves for uh, Dash Rendar. They owe him something. I'm not really sure what he did for them, but that's just how it is. There we go. I, mean, I don't know why I'm getting... Oh, yeah, because when you get the challenge points, like it doesn't matter in easy, but the more challenge points you get, it will give you lives back. Because I think in this... You might... Oh, and I, I did take falling damage from that distance. Wow. It's very, very inconsistent of when you'll take falling damage. Like, I, I still did you, don't... Did you see that just big black gate bar over there? It's still there. Yeah, the, uh... It's, it's ominous, it's like, uh -huh. it's taunting you. And then this part, yeah, we, we are hitting things, and we just... This is the best strategy here. Because they can't hit you from this distance, but you still can. <laughs> Alright, we got him. I'm kind of surprised they were able to make it so that, like, you could hit people from that far away without it just, like, uh -huh. not working. At least it's farther than um, you, how far you can shoot people in Skyrim. Yeah. There actually is a limit. I have checked. I, I, I know, I did too, actually. I was very upset with that because I had a perfect ledge, and I was like, yeah, I can just shoot out of... And then it goes here, right like, through alive. them, because it just and turns then... out your arrow, arrows... Who would have thought arrows, after they travel a certain distance, just kind of... Turned into nothing. <laughs> disappear in the they don't. No, they don't disappear. They just become immaterial and pass through everything. That's what happens in Skyrim. Skyrim is a terrible game that is made good through uh, the community, except still not that great, but pretty good. It's decent, and then you play it for a while, and you're like, "Yeah, this is fun." And then you get to a mm. point, and you're just like, "Well, I'm done." I think well, I'm gonna time to just stop doing this months. and make my waifu. Mm-hmm. That's what like I that. did.
Holy you, crap, what is that ominous wall? Uh, it is the blackness. Are you, um, are you in hell? <laughs> <laughs> this blackness is not there in the actual game, so I'm pretty sure this is a problem with the emulator. Uh, I think. Because it's been following you since level one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and there's this asshole say, up like, here. You know, is this them trying to simulate night? Because I don't think it, it looks like this. It's not normally this is a day level, but it's just fucked up because the emulator is, I guess. I don't know. Do you ever just know somebody who's very accident prone? So like every other week you like, you know, they tell you about how they hurt themselves on accident and you're like, I feel like you're doing this on purpose. Um, I know of a guy, it's my brother's friend that uh, gets into car accidents like all the fucking time. They're never actually his fault. He just for some reason gets into huge amounts of car accidents. That's very strange. He's just unlucky like that. Now, when we get to this part, I don't know if it'll happen. Nope, these guys are still alive, these two stormtroopers. The first time I came through here, uh, a yeti was here and had killed both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Randomized and, levels. Except it's not, because there's the it's this yeti here. But it just so happened he somehow got off this ledge when he normally can't. Which then lets you just kind of shoot him in the feet until- Or nope, there he goes. Ow. They do a lot of damage. There yeah, go. That, that did do a lot of damage. But again, and again, no feedback on whether you're actually hurting it, but you are. So just that kind of game. So they just texture the, um, the yeti, yeti, whatever color is around him. Yep. That's how it is. It's good to know. Mm -hmm. I we think I just wanna... saw a shark fin appear out of one of those walls. Terrifying. That'll happen. You can also, you know, in third person, you can cheat and look around the walls. It's a good thing yeah. to do in this game. Oh, you... oh, 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 what, ha, huh? what, ha, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck just happened there? What the... Oh, you just I... descended into pits. No, did you... How did I jump that far? <laughs> it was like, you, well, you slid really far to one side, and then you jumped. And then I jumped, like and it was just the, like... All your momentum. I guess that's how the physics in this game work. I'll have to remember that. You could probably exploit that. You probably could. Are you gonna go down there again? Yeah, I'm going down because there's challenge points. I don't want to get more lives. I, I'm why willing you, to... Why are you not you know flipping what? inside it? You know what? Nope. Not worth it. Fuck it. <laughs> not worth it. Uh, this it, it's. I was slipping and sliding a little bit. I'm trying not to. Oh. I think I this, thought yeah. you were just doing it involuntarily before. I thought it was like, you know, you go down that slide and then you can't go back up. <laughs> I was before, before it was just fucking up. I don't know what just happened, but... There's a guy there, dead. <laughs> there's an invisible banana. There's two stormtroopers here. This is very out of place, just when you look at everything around you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything in this game looks out of place. Wow, this is kind of, like, dark as shit. Yeah, um, we were playing it on Mike's real shitty TV. And it was yeah, so dark. Was <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was so dark that there were parts where we kind of just had to guess where everything was. Actually, we had to fire the gun at the wall. Uh, to and see yeah, if it would go I, far I, enough I, to I find know hallways. Exactly how that feels. And here is the part with the two stormtroopers that are just right there waiting for you. What, what bitches? I know, what a bunch of assholes, right? There's a little droid there. Get the health. It's a very strange game, and you'll see the the more uh, the more funny parts later, especially when we get the jetpack because the jetpack is actually kind of fun. Does that recharge infinitely too? The jetpack, yes, it does. Good. I would not settle for anything less. <laughs> I really wouldn't either. Also, it'll like take the jetpack away from you for a level and then give it back in the next level. 
<laughs> it's really weird. There's no real rivalries. It's just like, nah, you can't have it. Oh, I gotta. I have. fucked up and I have to wait longer now because that door. No, maybe I can make it. Let's see. Because this door will open and then close after a minute. So you gotta get in quick. This part is also very, very dark. Not as dark as it was on the, uh, on the TV we were playing on. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, it was so dark that this bridge here, you couldn't see. Like, you, you could not see this bridge. So, how, how did you find it? Just on accident? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, bridge of Faith. Mm-hmm. No. That was a thing in the last crusade, wasn't it? The leap of faith. Well, no, because you didn't leap, you just had to walk across. I know, but like you thought you were going to leap. Yeah, I guess. You, that, that, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I thought no. it was just like a. It was like Path of Belief or something like that. It was Some, whatever it was called, something gay like that. Something gay like that. I will argue this with you. Wow, you have two health left? 42. Oh. Okay, yeah, I was a couple seconds behind. Yeah. I did have two health left, though. It was amazing. So, they'll all do different damages? It doesn't go in, like, tens? I think so, yeah. The spaceport computers in the observation tower activate and we'll know where Boba Fett is docked. So this is the part well, where we get the jetpack. Before, he didn't even want to see your face. <clears throat> Now, the first time I got the jetpack here, I'll say in a minute when we get the jetpack. Just turn this on, there we go. I almost feel like I know what you're going to say, but I'm not going to say anything. Basically, you get you get the jetpack and it goes, okay, turn the jetpack on and fly away with, the, you know, press A when you're jumping to make, to make it go up. <laughs> so I jump off, and then it wouldn't go, and I just fell to my death and had to do this part over again. <laughs> But you're supposed to turn it on with... There is a button to turn it on. It just doesn't tell you what button turns it on, so... Oh, I... But yeah, the jetpack part. <laughs> he doesn't move his legs. <laughs> they just stay the way they were. Wow, that jetpack lasts for a little while. Yeah, it does. It lasts for a very long time. If you're if you're actually actively, like, going up, it lasts much... It doesn't last as long, but it's still pretty... And we're gonna get this guy. Right over there. Wow, what was that movement? Crouch. I don't know. Yeah. Crouch this. Um. Oh no. Okay, so wh when I looked at it, it looked very strange. So mm -hmm. he was like, he was all bent over sideways. <laughs> all right, dash Rendar, let's go. So you can just pretty much get anywhere with this now. Yep. And you can just immediately touch down on something, gain it back, and then go. Yep. You can also actually fall almost to your death, and then if you activate it at the last second, you'll live. Like, it, you just won't take any falling damage at all. <laughs> well, I'm oh, that's glad a they droid. That in there. Die. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think it was? I didn't remember it was there, I guess. I don't know. Look at that black wall. It's about to eat you. I guess so. Again, I'm pretty sure that is a problem with the emulator and not the game itself. But it is rather silly. Just seeing this wall fade into existence, it's very strange. Oh, can you actually go over there? That looks... <laughs> wow. And this guy's just like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on? And you just, you, you know, you shoot him and he doesn't know what happened. He's just like, Dash Rendar flew at me with a jetpack. And then I was dead. Stage complete. <laughs> Is that what he tells his buddies up in heaven? Yep. His other Stormtrooper buddies that all died from Dash Rendar. <laughs> to the same person. And Dash Rendar knows no mercy. And killed by, like, Luke and Han, and they're like, really? I mean, like... You got, you got killed by, like, a side bit character? <laughs> yeah, like, this side character in a shitty, uh... In a <laughs> shitty, like, multimedia series? Really? Wow. <laughs> and they're like, fuck you, man. He had a jetpack. He had a jetpack and an unlimited machine laser pistol. <laughs> and they're like, oh. Alright, in this part, we're going to... Let's see, and... up oh, there we go. I think you just missed it. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> 
I, I like how you missed it and you just went past it to get to the other stuff. Wait a minute. Yes. Sure. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. I might be dead. <laughs> I, might, I might die. You just have to go. Yep. Down. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't have enough. Oh, well. We can, can still. Do we couldn't you have just fallen and then did it at the last second? No, because when if it runs all the way out, you can't like it doesn't recharge if you turn it off. It's it, yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh -huh. Oh god, why am I jumping so far in this? I'm I I don't remember jumping that far on the con. Maybe I guess maybe your jumps are more controlled on the uh, on easy mode or something. I don't know. Why and there's their ship. I don't know. That's not, that sounds highly complicated for an X-1064 game. <laughs> Alright, and here's the uh, other ATST. You just, you employ the exact same strategy, you just don't go directly under it this time. Because then it'll shoot you with its dick gun? Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, fuck, what was the button to switch the... Fucking, I don't remember. Did you just do it? Yeah, like, no, I, I couldn't remember if I said it properly. I did. Okay, do I? I don't want to use. I don't want to use him right now, though. I want to save him for Boba Fett because Boba Fett's actually kind of hard, and we don't have many lives. So what does Lit Pulse do? Uh, Pulse is just really, really strong, but we're not using it now. We're gonna use it at Boba Fett because Boba Fett is a lot harder than this. And for this, we just have to employ the strategy of run around and shoot it. Boba Fett is like, he actually flies around because he, he also has a jetpack because he's Boba fucking Fett. <laughs> um, I don't know that much about Star Wars, you should know that Boba Fett is a badass. He really is. Yeah, I think he's like a bounty hunter. Something. Yeah, he is a bounty hunter, and he's just a badass. He didn't have, like, any sort of side story of his own, did he? And Unless, like, they were in the Yeah, books, he did. Really? They were... They were, they were... There are books about him, I know, and then, um, the prequels uh, showed some stuff. And actually, the prequels had the young, like, child version of him in, I think, the second prequel movie? Yeah, yeah, in the second. That... Yeah, that's not, that makes sense. Prequel movies sucked, but the stuff that came out of the prequel movies was really cool. Yeah, like the, if, uh, if they just had the prequel movies before the other things, it probably would have been fine. Okay. <laughs> like, on their own, it would have been fine, though it wouldn't have made much sense, because then they'd be like, why do I feel like there's information missing? The height of Empire technology, folks. Well, it, it they didn't you really use these other than in snowy areas. What was that? No, they no they use no they use them in a lot of other areas. Really? In the I know in the um in the prequels they do at least. Oh. Um, but again, I guess you you could just say well the prequels were shit anyway. So. Well, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to say that because they were still entertaining to watch. You know. Anything is what well for, for you know for yeah. explosions and the fight scenes and stuff. Yeah, it was great. <clears throat> the actual plot was kind of silly, and the CGI, especially in the first prequel movie, was really really bad because it was kind of just when CGI. Well, it wasn't bad, especially for the time. It was actually quite good, but it's still like earlier CGI kind of. I don't know what stunners do. I don't Maybe think you I should use a. I'll I'll wait. To, you know, we'll test them on Boba. F you know, we'll use one on this guy. How about that? Okay, that makes me happy. We're gonna use it. Okay, and <laughs> jetpack. What the fuck? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Or wait, yes, it it literally freezes them. Oh, wow. well. I wonder if I that have a works. Feeling that isn't going to work against Boba Fett. Well, we'll try. We'll try. Because in the case that it does... I mean, I think as soon as you shoot them anyways, they uh, they unfreeze, so it's not like it would be that useful. But, you know, unless we had to, like, go and get an extra life, because in that stage there is an extra life, I do remember.
Mm -hmm. um, and then this part, I think it's... You press this one. The rest of the rooms just have a bunch of junk and enemies that you really don't need to fight. <clears throat> because the health and stuff you get from the enemies does not make up for them shooting you a lot and whatnot. Is it yeah. droid? How the hell is anybody supposed to know you're supposed to go in this one? Uh, we actually had that problem, we had to look it up. <laughs> yeah, that just looked like a pitch black event and nothing. Yep. That's how this game is. Alrighty. And then we get into the vent. The actual vent with the propellers. That on this probably do a lot of damage. On easy, they do like nothing at all. Yeah. Alright, and... Aha, we did it. We still have this. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, they still do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> what if big giant fan blade didn't matter? I like how that man fell. <laughs> yeah. You also probably can't hear it because you haven't muted, but they make this like, it's not the Wilhelm scream, but it's very similar to the Wilhelm scream every time they fall. They just couldn't use it or something? Something like that, or they just didn't want to, I don't know. Ow. Die. Oh my god. These things are doing a lot. I know, I'm going to die, I know. Unless I go and get some health real, real fast. There's a challenge Dolly. point. Ten health. Ten health. Ten health. Yep, scoot <laughs> around on your jetpack. <laughs> there we go. Good job, Dash Rendar, you're the best. Yay, Dash Rendar! Dash Rendar is my favorite dual monster. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Going up. That is for sure. Tin. It's for certain. In dash Rendar, Dash Rendar. Dash, ah, uh, savior of the universe. Dash. <laughs> just, just put his name in, like, all the songs, even if it doesn't fit. Uh. -huh. Wanna be the very Dash. More blackness. Always a treat. <laughs> That's just... That is just, um... What is it? That is Darth Vader's rage. It culminates into a void of just... Also, darkness. if you turn on your jetpack here, um, you just kind of go with the cart. Wow. Yeah. Just kind of go with it. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, don't knock it if it does not yeah. break work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it got the challenge point. I did it. Wow, and then just whiteness. Is there is Morgan Freeman here? Uh, he should be. No, only Dash Rendar. Only Dash Rendar. <laughs> only Dash Rendar. I like how they make the screaming noise when they fall off even after they have already been killed. Yeah. Well, they do that in the movies too. Mm -hmm. No matter what, even if they die by a terrible explosion and, like, their limbs fly off, whatever, and they're still like, ah! This guy around there. He's probably in front. Yep, right in front of the elevator. Eat a dick. <laughs> and here is, um, a ship. Oh, that looks familiar. It is not our ship, but it's a ship. I th think maybe Boba Fett was taking it, but I don't know if it actually says that. He might have just kind of... I don't know. Whatever. He, he just looked at the ship, and then he was like, eh, I don't like the shape. Yeah, I mean, he has his own ship later, because, I mean, he, he has the ship he has in the movies. Yeah. The slave one. Which, by the way, very creative name. Very... Either. Oh, that door just stays open. I thought it was a timed door. No. Some of them are, for no I reason at all. I also noticed that you have six health, so you might not want to do fall damage. Yeah, I know. That's why I have the jetpack. 
Die, 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 die. Well, that didn't stop you from hitting every single little fan blade on the way down and then getting fall damage, so... Well, whatever. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, man! Who care? God! <laughs> whatever, ow. <laughs> Just immediate. This is a very long elevator, and I think this might be the end of the level. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Why would they subject you to this very, very long elevator? Yeah, here we go, Bob, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Bobby Fett, uh, he comes up here, and he shoots at you, and that's just, yeah, <laughs> and Dash is just kind of like, oh, whatever, that's cool, Boba Fett, watch me why fly around it, in my jetpack. Why did his arc, why, why did his weapon arc like that? Does it do that in the movies? I don't think what? so. Didn't you notice, like, in the little cutscene, his weapon arced upwards? Oh, it's because he just he shot a missile. shot a Seeker at us, that's why. And then we just And Seekers, as you know, Seekers just kind of go wherever the fuck they want to. I guess he talked so to it real nicely today, and it was like, yeah, I'll go over and hit him today, Boba Fett. I'll do it for you. He was like, thank you, and then they left, and he was, he talked shit behind their back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fuck. We have, like... Okay, Boba Fett, stop. Bobby Fett, don't. Bobby? That doesn't go with that. Yeah, you want to use the pulse on him, because it's really strong. Wow, yeah. Even if you're not hitting him with most of it, it does a fuckload of damage. You should hit him with all of it. Probably kill him in one shot. No. It's really hard to hit him with it, though, because he moves around a lot. Yeah. Wow, okay, so that gets rid of your ammo really quick. Oh, what? <laughs> Goddamn. He just raped you. I know, he did. In a very literal so sense, he fucking destroyed me. So does his health actually uh, come back? No, it does not. Nope, it does not. That happens for all the bosses. If you die, you keep going. As long as you got lives. That, that instantly makes this game much like, easier than it could be. Yep. Ha ha ha, Seekers. <laughs> Except now he gets in his ship. Which, you would think, oh, I'm injured. I'm just going to fly away in my ship. There's nothing stopping me. Nah. Nah. Excuse me, Boba Fett. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry, okay. This is another fight of, um, stay on one side of him and don't let his guns shoot you. Oh, fuck. My zoot, my fucking jetpack's running out. I'm, oh, nope, I'm good, I'm good. Unless he shoots me, yep. <laughs> Dead. It hit your calf and you were like, oh, me dead. Also, it kind of just decides when it wants this, the attacks to hit this thing. I'm never sure where I'm supposed to be actually hitting it. Should have used well, that. Well, at least though. you are, uh, you know, not having to start all over. Mm hmm. I'm letting it How charge long is up this a little. Game, do you know? Uh not that long. We're like halfway through, I think. A little less halfway than halfway. Through. A little less. Uh do you think you we could pick this up again tomorrow? Uh yeah, we probably could. Okay, because I am very exhausted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could quit after this. Okay. I, I was actually want probably to see going how to see how you're going to be slave one. Is there a slave two, actually? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? What am I supposed to be shooting on this thing? I'm very con- Look, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting. It's not doing any damage. Maybe you need to clip through it and then hit him on the inside. Oh, there we go. I hit the blank- I hit the spot in between the fucking ship. The blank space between the ship and the, the part of the ship with the guns on it. Great. The gooch of the ship? Yes. But not like the act not the part of the ship, like the blank space between it. Look. Wait. Okay. Uh, yeah, but no, I guess I guess not. I really don't know. 
Like, I, I have no idea. I can't hit it. Maybe you should just... Uh, you hit it for one. Kind yeah, of. it did. That ship is just destroying you right now. It wouldn't be if you... I could hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they all say? There, I'm hitting it now. Where is it? Somewhere. Just hit it from the front. That seems to be doing it. I really don't like that when you are in the air, the jetpack doesn't recharge. I guess it makes sense so that you can't, like, cheat with it, but... But at the same time, you don't want it to make sense? You just want to be able to jetpack? Yeah, I just want to be able to jetpack. Where am I supposed to hit you? It was working before shooting from the back, and now it's not. I, am I shooting the wings? Oh, there, I shot it again, somewhere. You're seeing this, right? I am seeing this. Like, a, it's just kind of like, there's a really specific spot I'm supposed to be hitting, and I don't know what it is. I, see, I just hit under it, and it damaged it. Look. Do you see that? Yeah, look, I there did. we go. What the fuck? So, can you only be... Do you have to be on the ground? I guess. Well, I don't I know sure. why, considering it's a level with a jetpack, and clearly it would be like, oh, well, you're fighting a flying enemy, so you probably want to get your jetpack. You know what? And... He hasn't been hitting you as much since you started staying on the ground. He's not even shooting at you I, right I know, now. yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, the... Yeah. He was much more difficult when you were flying around and having him not be able to die. Yeah. Time. Part 3, seconds. Hunting the Assassins. The rebels locate Boba Fett, but with help from an Imperial escort, the bounty hunter escapes from Gaul. Above the planet, an assassin nearly kills Luke. Princess Leia, fearing for his safety, asks Dash to follow him to Tatooine. There at the- do you want to see the speeder bike level? Because we're about to go to the speeder bike level. Yeah, sure. Speeder bike level is great. Is that just, like, really close, or...? Wait, this is the speeder bike level. We are on it. Okay. Okay, so, okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know how to fix this problem. I'm gonna have to wow. figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We'll just play like this. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright, so you'll see the speeder bike just kind of... No, you just kind of go and it doesn't stop. Speeder that's bike. that's how the speeder brake works, and you have to ram into uh, you have to ram into people basically. Like you have oh, to you have to, or you have to race past them and get to Luke faster than the oh god uh uh <laughs> god how are you okay uneasy uneasy you can't die <clears throat> uneasy you just it's just if you can get there fast enough and ram into those guys but my god. <clears throat> How are you supposed to, like, not crash into everything? I don't understand. I have to go really slowly to not do that. Yeah. You just go too fast. And a lot of the areas will lead, lead to dead ends, and you'll just die. Wrong- yeah, see, like, wrong way. How am I supposed to fucking know? Uh, no, don't back up. Go. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. Ah, god That's damn it. Ridiculous. Ah. I'm way b- oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Oh god. It's just uneasy, it's already really hard because you just crash into everything. And on medium, it becomes fucking impossible. <laughs> because if you go too fast, you'll just crash and die? Fuck. Okay, wait. <laughs> it's two crashes. <clears throat> two crashes and you're dead. Okay, we, we got out of that. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Oh god. It's this, this flashing makes it very hard to tell what's going on also. Where are you going? I think I've seen that jump about five times now. Uh, yeah, it copy and pastes the areas for this level. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a terrible game. It's 
it's like it's great, but also just hilariously bad and all those things. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Now we get to the part. It's a little easier to go around because it's just kind of a straight path mostly, but it still kind of has problems. I well, I'm not seeing milky white. Uh, yeah, I guess that features. problem is. Ow. Fuck. Okay, wow. wait. Holy shit. How are you supposed to dodge those? Yeah, going fast enough to beat these guys? I have no idea. Oh god, what? Wow, wow. Oh, and they slow wow. down for you, by the way. Like, if you are going really slow, they slow down with you. Well, that's nice of I know, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. Guys, come back. Guys, guys, come back. Guys, I'm trying to keep up. Come on, I want to ride speeder bikes, too. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> then this part, like, how are you even supposed to do this? Oh my God. Oh, oh you died. Yep. Finally. Finally. Let's hope you can just, like, have one long stretch of road where you can immediately bypass all of them. Because I imagine that's a thing that happens. The swoop gang is almost upon Luke. Oh, no! Oh, what god. Oh, uh, wait. No, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> the swoop gang. Dick Dastardly swooping... and his swooping gang. Oh god, we're dead. Okay. It's over. <laughs> it's over. And then we just get Game his, uh, his over, we get man. Lord Scissors, we get Prince Scissors' beautiful face. His eyebrow needs to be forever so, yeah. uh, up. I guess that's that. Most easily.